What is up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Cancer for September 5th to the 10th of September 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like what I do and like to support the content that I make, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you cancer so let's get into this reading we got some good shit we got the judgment card major arcana knight of cups two of cups okay so the judgment card represents a rebirth of a situation it is a karmic calling card where you know the tower is a, is a moment where it crumbles down because you aren't supposed to be there the judgment card usually follows that in the tarot it follows that and it is the reason why that happens, it is to bring us on a certain path. So the judgment card represents walking the path that you're supposed to be taking. It represents the call. It's kind of it's kind of a good kind of card to represent that you are supposed to be where you are right now. There's some sort of rebirth, whether it be, um, uh, how do I explain this? Whether it be something that has died and happened again, like a relationship, if it's something that inside of yourself you have grown more power and you are basically going through this emotional and spiritual rebirth, it, it can be that as well. More so this card represents just rebirth, wholeness, um, in walking your call. The Knight of Cups represents a Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy. Um, this came up as your energy, um, Cancer. It represents, this would be your star sign and this is your energy representing the Knight of Cups is somebody that quests for something. All knights quest for something. So the pages are all um, there with good news of, hey, I, this thing is happening. Um, I'm, I'm showing you that this thing is, I'm the messenger. I'm telling you that this thing is happening. The knight is like, oh, hell yeah. He gets on his horse and he's traveling. And then the king and the queen are both there. They have their success. They have their leadership. When the Knight of Cups arrives, he is questing for his holy grail, and because he is um, the star sign of water, he is emotion, and when he quests for emotion, this is usually a romantic card, um, saying that he is specifically questing for something that makes him happy, and oftentimes that's going to be a relationship or something to do with love. Um, it represents that he has his eyes on his prize, so to speak, and he's not going to stop until he gets what he wants. Um, but it represents that he is questing after somebody in this position. So specifically, something has died and kind of rebirthed. Something, something died somewhere in order for something new to spring up. And the new thing to spring up is this emotion. There is somebody there that you are giving this emotion to. The Two of Cups represents... <laughs> It represents a soulmate, twin flame kind of energy, but I don't read this the same way that everybody else does with twin flames. It's like, I believe that soulmates come in many forms. For example, I think my ferret is my soulmate. I think that my dad is my soulmate. I think that um, some of the people I've dated in this lifetime are my soulmates. That doesn't mean that they're always going to stay around. Nothing is forever. Uh, but it also doesn't mean that you get... Some people, this might be for you, where some people do have one person... Um, in a romance that comes for them and it is their soulmate for life, that can happen. Most likely, you're going to be experiencing this with different people throughout your lifetime. But this is saying that you have found one of those people that you are connecting with and you do have this twin flame energy where you have been through lifetimes together with them, that kind of stuff. I more so see this as a card where you lock eyes across the room with the person and you just fucking know. Something inside of yourself tells you, hey, this person, go talk to them go fucking talk to them it might not make sense for you to go talk to them but go talk to them um it's that kind of energy and it, it as a two of cups it represents the potential it's kind of like the magician in the sense where this could go anywhere but right now you are questing after this something has passed in your life in order for you to travel to this new um relationship connection emotional stability with this person i would like to see where this goes between cancer and this two of cups person where does this end up okay so there is this isn't like the best card it's also not the worst card to get but i do think that you are going to eventually come to a point where you are going to have to stick up or defend yourself against this person um it's possible that this person might come in, come in and question you 
about what you're doing with your life or about this or about that or if some of you are um, not single, I'm hearing this very specifically, if some of you are not single and are dating other people and you are dating this person but you have somebody else on the side, this is kind of saying, hey, um, about that, you, you kind of have to defend your position and also I don't really like reading for that. Um, I think cheating is gross, so I'm not going to read for that. I think it's fucking disgusting. I would like to see where it goes after the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Same day, different shit. This, to me, I think that you've been through this with this person before, specifically because these two cards kind of give me that feeling, and with the Judgment card kind of saying that this is a rebirth of a situation, I think that you specifically are questing for somebody that you have done this with them before, and that, I'm sorry, major fucking glare from my window, you have done this with this person before. This is probably not a new person, but it's probably a new period of, hey, let's see what happens where you're both agreeing to this. I think that, or maybe maybe not both of you are agreeing to this, but one of you is standing up for yourself. I think it's going to be you that is standing up for yourself. And it's saying, if you do the same old things that you did the last time you went through this, you're going to have the same outcome. So change the way that you play the game and the outcome will change. If you stay in this the same way and expect to do the same thing every fucking day, that's the definition of crazy. Change the way you approach this situation in order to have a better outcome, Cancer. This is not bad shit. Just be wary of this. I do see a second coming around with this relationship. Be careful that you're not doing the same things that you were the last time or else it will repeat the same. I love you. I will see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe.